tonight, <clears throat> if you would allow me to do that. Throw a little wet blanket on the party. <clears throat> and that is that Satan doesn't like what's happening. <clears throat> Beware. We're up on the mountain here, okay? But I'm telling you, Satan is going to be after you. He doesn't like the fact that you come here. <clears throat> Ephesians 6.10 Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Okay? Boy, I'm going to give you some wisdom tonight. Don't go to sleep. Don't even get sleepy. <laughs> Don't even think about getting sleepy. I'm going to give you the most important word of wisdom for the Christian life that I possibly can. Tonight. You can start recording. <laughs> Finally, my brethren... Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Let's read it together. Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The old country preacher would say, down south, he'd say, stand fast against the willies of the devil. <laughs> The willies of the devil. Now that's a Greek word, methodos, okay? And what does that mean? That means that you may be able to stand against the methods of the devil and the tools of the devil, okay? For we what? Next verse, ready? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Against, wait, 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 slow down. Against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. What does that verse tell us? That verse tells us that there is a hierarchy in the satanic spiritual realm, that there are lower demons down here, Maybe uh, those of you who are good Bible students, you understand that there are going to be demons released in the tribulation period who have been chained. <clears throat> okay, They're so wicked that God literally chained them, and, and they're going to be unleashed on, uh, in, on the tribulation, uh, in the tribulation hour. Boy, I don't want to be around for those guys. Horrible. Demons are here in this room. We cast them out. We, we got them out of here. I mean, I, I spent time here last night on my knees saying if there's any spiritual hindrance in this place, I, I pray, I beg you by the blood of Christ to remove them. But here's what I want to say. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. Go back. Okay, you're there in Ephesians. Go back to chapter 1. Okay. Chapter 1 of Ephesians 20 and 21 <clears throat> so you understand that let, let, let me put it in 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 simple terms in uh, in uh, military terms okay uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against uh, privates and sergeants and 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 lieutenants and captains and against generals in high places Wicked, wicked demon generals in high places. <clears throat> right. Prince of power of the air. Yep. <clears throat> Verse, uh, Ephesians 1.20. Read it with me. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Everyone? Far above all what? Principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And hath put all things under his feet, and gave to him to be head over all things to the what? Church. Jesus loves the church. He understands that Satan wants to attack the churches that are, that are speaking for him. So, 
we have all, we're on the winning side, okay? But what I want to say is so important right now. This is this is maybe the most important thing I think. You know, when you deal with people who have addiction problems, how many know somebody with an addiction problem? Huh? Every one of us, right? You don't know anybody? You know? Okay. I'm just asking you, Kelly. I'm giving you a hard time. Okay. And the problem with people that, that have <coughs> uh, strongholds in their life, addictions, I don't mean good addictions. This is a good addiction, what we're doing tonight. Addicted to the ministry of the saints Paul talked about, right? Addicted to the word of God. Amen? Yes. I'm talking about these harmful addictions that will ruin your life, okay? Okay. And the problem with a lot of those people is when they when they when they get the here it is right here when they get the taste of a little bit of success they get lightheaded oh i'm up here on the mountain and what when they get up on the mountain on that little pinnacle right there's an infinite number of ways to fall down. I've dreamt about this Sunday for 17 years. I'm not about to fall off the wagon. I've messed up so many times over the last half a century. I hope I'm wise enough to know that now, now's not the time to, uh, okay, let's, you know, let's take it easy. Don't you take it easy. That prayer room may be the most important room in this place. It's not even in this building. Okay? And your prayer closet, your war room, is so important right now. I need you to pray for me because I'm going to be under attack. I know it. I know the devil enough to know. I know how to get Cliff. That's what he says. So, <clears throat> I was tested this morning. In a big way. Some of you didn't see it. But I was tested in an incredibly big way. When we were about to start our service, a well-dressed lady came in, and uh, I said, welcome, and, and I said, I don't know what I said. I said, what's your name? And I think she said Maria, and I, and, and I said, well, welcome. We're glad to have you. I, how did you find out about us? And she said, well, <coughs> uh, uh, Pastor Magania or something like that. I said, oh, well. You know, I could have said, "Oh, sit down here. You don't need to. You don't need to go over there." <laughs> no, no, no. Somebody comes in here and they're looking for the Church of God. I got to tell them to get out. I got to tell them, "Okay, you need to go over there. Mm -hmm. That's where you belong." Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the time might come where he might bring his people over here. <laughs> That's all right, but we're not changing for them. <laughs> you know, we're not changing for them. <laughs> We're not going to compromise. We're not going to change our Bible so it fits what they're doing. Okay? It's very important that we maintain, and I made this clear to them, we need to respect each other's identity. I'm an independent fundamental Baptist. I'm not a legalist. I don't want to be a legalist. But I love the Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm not here to please you. I'm here to please him. And make sure that I'm faithful to this word. But I want, to tell, I want you to just know, we are going to enter into a time of spiritual warfare. Now, I haven't really seen it rear its ugly head yet. But I, I'm smart enough to know, and I've been around the block so many times, I've fell, fallen down, I've got, I've got all the scars to, to prove it. So, 
I just want to pray, and let's, let's just pray right now. And that, that's what I really wanted to get across tonight was this is, first of all, praise and thank God for what he did for us. Amen? Because it wasn't us. It was him. He did it all. I just, I just got out of the way and let him work. And that's why we have such a wonderful result. That's all. I mean, folks, I could have gone to them because they asked me. They said, well, well, how much do you want to pay? I said, you just give us a fair price. That's what I said. I know you'll give us. A fair. You go to the Lord about it. That's why he came up with that. So I came in here eight years ago. I was at that back door, and I said, you know what? This would be a nice church. <laughs> Little did I know the Lord would give it to us. For such a time as this, right? God's timing is right. So beware of Satan's attack and his enemies. Let's be good stewards. And look, folks, we have to respect that they are maybe different than us. See? So they are, you know what? They're respecting our space. They didn't come here and tell me anything. Okay? Okay? And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna invade their space. I want to respect them, get our stuff out of the way, so they can do what they do. Okay? They don't do anything wicked in here. They play little games or whatever they do. I don't know what they do in here. They eat. They have a little cafe. The cafe is open. There's a sign back there, and they give out free coffee and just they do this friendship evangelism type type of thing. It's not like we do. We go out and knock on doors and ask people if they're saved. <laughs> See, and they respect that, but that's not quote their style. But Jesus said, "Go ye all the world, go ye into all the world, and what preach the gospel to every creature." <clears throat> all right, and that's why we're alive. That's why we're here. That's why you're here, Josie. Right? Amen. And Kay and and Cassandra was here this morning, and <clears throat> praise the Lord. All right, let's pray. Let's just. Have some prayer here. I'm going to ask Brother Bert to pray. I'm going to bring a microphone over for you so people can hear you. And I just want to have him pray a, 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 a prayer of spiritual warfare. Okay? All right? So let's do that.